Well hello there everybody and welcome to today's video once again doing something a little bit different in this one we're going to be looking at every vehicle unique to the fantastic Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. Okay so this one is part two in a three video or more playlist so I will link that down below. Previous video was all unique vehicles to Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories and the next one will be all vehicles unique to Grand Theft Auto san andreas in this game then there is 16 unique vehicles and i will be leaning on the gta wiki a little bit for information i will link that down below as well but other than that please like the video subscribe if you're not subscribed already and a big thank you to all the existing subscribers really means a lot okay let's get into the video then number one on the list then we are going to be going through these in alphabetical order we have the air ambulance and that is the emergency helicopter in Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories um, and as its name implies it's a medical rescue helicopter being an aerial equivalent of the ambulance and as you can see the air ambulance comes in a white and red livery with the medical markings on it and can also be used to activate the air rescue side missions which are actually really really fun they are the airborne equivalent of the ambulance's paramedic side mission. And during development, this was going to be a Coast Guard Maverick. That was cut, and in its place, we got the air ambulance. Next up then, it's another helicopter, and this one is the Armadillo. This one is used by the Vice City Fire Department in Vice City Stories. And this vehicle can be found behind some fire stations on the Vice City map and entering the vehicle at the fire station will start the firecopter side mission where the player has to get seawater and use it to take out fires on rooftops very enjoyable um, and players can avoid the side mission and water bucket upon entry by pushing it away from the spawn point but if you get in it and then cancel the mission you can keep the bucket underneath even though you're not doing the firecopter missions vehicle number three then it's another aircraft we're going to be talking about the biplane uh, the biplane is an airplane um, serving as one of only two controllable airplanes in the game, the other being the skimmer. So from the wiki, the biplane's design is comparable to the um, San Andreas stunt plane being similar construction, but different in terms of several designs featuring a sharper nose, open air cockpit and a shorter rear stabilizer. But the biplane's maneuverability is inferior to the stunt plane being harder to steer but otherwise possesses a fairly quick speed when in flight and it can also sustain quite a bit of damage but can still sometimes just explode on impact if it crashes. Nevertheless, very interesting. And here is vehicle number four, the first one that isn't an aircraft, technically, um, and we're going to be talking about the Bover 64. This is a hovercraft uh, amphibious vehicle in Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. And the Bova 64 is a medium-sized hovercraft comparable to the Vortex from San Andreas. However, it bears a much more realistic design with a large fan on the back, roll bars on the driver's area and rearranged steering controls as well as being much larger than the Vortex. And similar to the Vortex in San Andreas, the Bova 64 is coded in-game as an aircraft. You see where I said technically earlier and thus it's easily damaged and destroyed in addition to having the same explosion as in-game aircrafts the bother 64 can't be repaired at the pay and spray here's vehicle number five then we're going to be talking about the cholo saber the first gang car on this list that is unique to vice city stories and uh, this one is a two-door muscle car and gang car of course and it is a variant of the saber turbo which is a variant of the saber and it's distinguished by its wire rims permanent yellow body color and a white stripe similar to the saber turbo and lower ground clearance and if you want to find this car in vice city stories make sure you do it prior to the mission havana good time in which the cholos get forced out of the city after that mission it's very very rare that these spawn so as you can see in the footage, I actually restarted the game, uh, a new save just to be able to show you this vehicle because I spent a long time driving around in Havana and could not find one on my 100% save. So yeah, <laughs> but very good car overall and unique to Vice City Stories. Vehicle number six then is the Gang Rancher, which is an SUV and gang car, which is exclusive. It's the gang car of the Sharks preceding the Gang Burrito from Grand Theft Auto Vice City. And a nice little bit of trivia to go with this 
It's one of the only gang cars in the 3D universe that isn't named after the gang that uses it. Instead of being called Shark Rancher, it's simply called Gang Rancher. Same applies for the Gang Burrito in GTA Vice City. Here we are at number 7 then, and here we have the Jet Ski, which is a single seat water vehicle featured in Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. Now, don't get this mixed up with the Wet Ski from Chinatown Wars or the Sea Shark from GTA 5 slash GTA Online. This is a unique Jet Ski that is literally named Jet Ski and doesn't appear in any other Grand Theft Auto game. And yeah, this one doesn't take too much more explanation, but there are a series of really fun races that go with the jet ski as well. Okay, so we're at vehicle 8 now, and this one is very, very unique. Little Willy. <laughs> Trying not to uh, laugh while I say that, but it is obviously a comical name. Uh, the Little Willy is a gyrocopter in Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. Okay, here's a little snippet from the GTA wiki then. The Little Willy is implied to be designed in the form of a gyrocopter, but lacks a crucial vertical rotor that provides the aircraft horizontal thrust. Instead, the Little Willy features the same set of rotors seen on larger helicopters, and it is based on the Lazel Cricket. A couple of fun facts then about the Little Willy. It comes equipped with working twin machine guns, being only the third armed helicopter in the entire Grand Theft Auto 3D universe after the Sea Sparrow and the Hunter. And its name is a reference to the famous gyrocopter Little Nelly, used by Sean Connery in the 007 Bond film, You Only Live Twice. And that's about it for the Little Willy. Uh, <laughs> one of the most unique vehicles, I'd say, in the 3D universe, the Grand Theft Auto 3D universe. So let's move on. And here we have the ninth vehicle on the list. This is the Polaris V8 a four-door muscle car that can only be found in Vice City Stories. And this car is primarily based on a four-door version of the 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner with a grille that resembles a Dodge Challenger muscle coupe with the front indicator and headlights switched, but both cars are two doors as opposed to the Polaris V8. Four doors, its four-door configuration comes from the second-generation Matador. The car is only available in one colour scheme, black body with orange stripes and a white roof. But other than that, this car is very fast and handles very well, and it is a preferred gang car for the Vance crime family. Up next then is number 10, and here we have one of the most unique vehicles in all of the GTA 3D universe, and that is the Split 6 ATV, a six-wheel ATV, and yes, it is only found in Vice City Stories, as you may have guessed. This vehicle is based on the Amphicat ATV, a small six-wheel drive amphibious ATV, and it's depicted as a novelty vehicle with a rather unique design, small windshield, a single seat, and six wheels. And funnily enough, it's also featured on a MeTV automotive news update where it's said to be a car that thinks it's a duck and that it's perfect for people who live in a swamp. And the Split 6 is capable of travelling on land and water, However, it drives very slow on land and even slower on water, slower than even the player's own swimming speed. It's got poor armour, uh, which makes the vehicle very susceptible um, in wanted levels of more than two stars. And fun fact, this is one of only two civilian vehicles in the entire GTA universe. Not just the 3D universe, but the entire GTA universe that has six wheels apart from industrial trucks. Um, and the other one being the Dubster 6x6 from GTA Online. However, this ATV is the only one in the 3D universe, making it very unique, awesome vehicle for its uniqueness. Here we have vehicle 11 then. It is a motorbike called the Street Fighter, exclusive to Vice City Stories. And this bike is a bit slower than the PCJ and the Biker Angel. Still has a decent top speed fairly good handling and off-road capabilities and it's able to keep up with the Sanchez and there's a very good chance that this is the first vehicle you're ever going to drive in Vice City Stories because right at the first mission um, with Jerry Martinez he tells your character Victor Vance to go to the airport and the Street Fighter bike is literally right there for you to take so highly likely this is going to be the first vehicle you ever get on or drive in Vice City Stories. And funnily enough, seeing as Vice City Stories is set before all of the other 3D Universe Grand Theft Auto games, 
chronologically, this would be the first vehicle you drive in storyline order in the 3D universe. Vehicle 12 then is the VCPD, Vice City Police Department Wintergreen, and this is the Vice City Police Department version of the civilian Wintergreen motorbike. And from the GTA wiki then, the VCPD Wintergreen is based on the civilian Wintergreen, which in turn is based on a Harley Davidson Electroglide. True to the usage of the Electroglide by real life police officials, the VCPD Wintergreen, however, can be identified by the presence of red strobe lights, a permanently black paint job, no top box, lower handlebars, and the bike also sports a minor cosmetic difference between the PSP and the PS2 versions of the game, featuring a slightly taller windshield in the PS2 version over the PSP version. And the next vehicle would happen to be the Ventoso, in my opinion, one of the worst vehicles in the game, and it's a customized moped slash motorized bicycle featuring exclusively in Vice City Stories. And according to the GTA Wiki, despite its appearance, the Ventoso performs apparently better than the Fagio scooter with a higher top speed, higher acceleration, and a lighter weight, which really surprised me because it doesn't feel like that when you're riding this in the game. And fun fact, it's one of only 10 electric vehicles in the entire GTA series, the others being the RC Bandit, Baggage Handler, Airtug, Caddy, Forklift, Colt Voltic, Chameleon, and Surge. The 14th vehicle on this list then will be the Violator, which is a unique speedboat to Vice City Stories. And from the GTA Wiki, the Violator is designed as a speedboat with an overall design seemingly a mixture of the Speeder and the Squallow, having a bulky hull with a black trim on the edges and jewel vents on the centre, while the cabin quarters feature a rounded windshield, two regular seats on the front and an unusable bench seat on the rear. On the stern rear area there is an exposed engine in the centre and dual spoilers slash air vents beside it, along with the propulsion jets on the rear end. And the Violator has good handling and better durability than the Speeder, but is noticeably slower. Number 15 then is the Wintergreen. Now we did cover the VCPD Wintergreen before. This is the civilian version of that. And once again, this is similar to a Harley Davidson Electroglide. The Wintergreen is essentially a touring motorcycle distinguishable by heavy duty construction, a fairing, boxes mounted on its sides and top towards the rear. The bike sports a minor cosmetic difference between the PSP and PS2 versions of the game, featuring a taller windshield in the PS2 version over the PSP version. And the final vehicle on this list, the biggest letdown <laughs> you'll probably ever see in a video. Um, I do apologise, but these are in alphabetical order. We have the Yola. Now, this is one boring looking boat, um, and from the GTA Wiki, the Yola appears to combine elements of a Panga boat and a traditional wooden boat with a twin engine layout um, and the commonly used single engines. The design of the boat is rudimentary, basic, consisting of a wooden hull and a small handrail on the bow, while the deck has elevated wooden planks on the bow and front end and around the middle and on the stern rear area. There are also main controls with a small windshield and an elevated platform, as well as the outboard engines partially covered by dual frames. I'm not reading anything more from the GTA wiki about this because it is literally um, <laughs> so generic and boring this boat and I cannot help but apologize once more. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, <laughs> regardless of the letdown at number 16, I hope you've enjoyed the rest of the vehicles on this list. If you haven't checked it out already, please watch the video for all of the unique vehicles in Liberty City Stories and the next video will be all unique vehicles to Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, of which there's nearly 60 vehicles on that game, which you can obtain through normal gameplay, which are all unique to San Andreas. So other than that, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done already. I want to wish you all a great day. Stay safe, stay happy, and I'll catch you all again, hopefully, very, very soon. All the best, everybody. Bye-bye.